grid has been cleared ahead of the start. And we're off and away again for the second of the Honda Cadet heats here. So everyone gets through the first corner neatly into turns one and two. Up the hill they come. So it's uh, Barris Haggett from Tomaluski. Now let's just see what is happening at the moment because I'm wondering, have there been any changes initially? Doesn't look to be the case. Top five seem to be as they were when they got off the line. So they're now coming down into the mid part of the track itself. And Tomaluski was very much in the hunt there for the lead. Is he going to get the lead going into the boot? No, he doesn't. Uh, Barris Haggett got a bit wide there coming out of that turn onto the mid straight. But it's allowing Tomaluski to close on in. And it's fast becoming a five way. Well, it could be four, it could be five. Depending if Tokarski can uh, try and get past or get up and close and personal as Tomaluski is really trying to force the issue past the number 47, just like he did in the first seat earlier on. There was a little bit of contact between the pair, but nothing came of it. Down the hill they come. So it's Barris Haggett from Tomaluski, from Bukok, from Hartley, with Tokarski a little bit further adrift, probably about eight tenths away from this battle. And this is again, the top four are separated by just eight tenths of a second as again, Barris Haggett closes the door on Tomaluski. So goes wide and then goes to take the inside line. Very good tactical driving there from the number 47. But Tomaluski is not wanting to be denied this time around. But Bukok and Hartley, who's just set the fastest lap of this race in twice in succession, has done a 56.396. So this is getting incredibly racy. So hold on to your hats, ladies and gentlemen. We've got one brilliant battle up at the front, a four-way battle royale for the lead of this race. So it's still Barris Haggett from Tomaluski, Bukok and Hartley. And Tomaluski, I think, is actually being rather patient. He's waiting, he's biding his time. Very much Robert Kubica-esque. So... The, uh, the main thing is, is Tomaluski. Now, if anyone remembers when Robert Kubica was a full-time competitor in Formula One, uh, you might remember his very difficult accident at the Canadian Grand Prix. I think it was 2008 when he was racing with BMW Sauber. But I see shades of Kubica in Tomaluski. I really do. Tokarski, I think, could also get in there as well. But... Uh, Tomaluski was a very competitive Bambino driver and now he's going in to this Honda Cadet Intercar Championship and he's really, really doing such a great job. So it's still four -way, uh, a four-way battle. Back at the uh, back of the field we've got Lincoln Douglas and uh, uh, Ashton Butlin competing for ninth position at the moment. Going down the hill, yellow flags and we've had a cart off. We've had a cart off just off turn six. Now, let's just see who that might be. I'll just wait for the timing screens to refresh momentarily. Oh, that's the number nine. That's Ollie Paul. Oh, that's a shame. That's a real shame. He was 4.6 seconds away from the leaders and that drops him out of the race entirely so that's a real shame for the number nine of Ollie Paul meanwhile the battle is still waging on between our top four it has not changed it really has not changed with Tomaluski still ahead of Bukok and Hartley with uh, Barris Haggett still leading the way last time around the, the quartet was separated by six tenths of a second And uh, Bukok is, was thinking of going into the boot past Tomaluski, but Tomaluski was still there in front. Two minutes, 19 seconds to go, plus an additional lap. And uh, my goodness, Hartley has just got past Bukok on the start-finish straight. 
That was very, very close. And he gets past Tomaluski. Going up the top of the hill, he gets past Tomaluski for second. Liam Hartley is showing what he's made of in this heat. And that's allowed Damien Barris Haggett to get away in the number 47. He's pulled a clear gap as the trio battling for second position, which was part of the lead, lead quartet, has now gone into a three-man brawl. And uh, so it's still it's still a very difficult battle. Well, it's still a very different battle now as it was probably about a minute ago. With uh, Hartley now in second, Bukok in third, Tomaluski now in fourth. So we still have just over 60 seconds. Plus also So it's still all to play for. Fifty seconds plus an additional lap. Tomaluski went a bit wider at turn six there in the number twenty. He was pressurizing Barris Haggett, Haggett for the majority of this race, but has lost out significantly. Polish driver now finds himself down in fourth place. However, there is still the final to go. So this and two more laps to go. Well, this, uh, I think next time around will be the final lap board for Damien Barris Hag uh, Haggett, Haggett as uh, Bukok is going past uh, Hartley into second position at the top of the hill as uh, Tomaluski is trying to go with, but Hartley shut the door very firmly there. Hartley is trying to force a manoeuvre on Bukok, who goes very wide, and that allows Stanard. Will Tomaluski go with? No, he doesn't. Bukok does enough to get the cart righted, and then back into position, into third place now. This has been an exciting battle all the way through this race. It's the... The last of the two heats before the final later on. So, last lap board is out for Damien Barris Haggett. Has led very comfortably from the word go, but the three behind are still battling over second place. So, Tomaluski is trying to go and slingshot past Hartley up into the top part of the hill, probably turns three, four, five. They're going to go down the hill, down towards six. So still all very much to play for. The second position. And Tomaluski was nearly side by side with uh, Hartley as Bukok has now got into second. And uh, there we go. It's now the final couple of corners or so for Damien Barris Haggett, who's coming into the, out of the boot for the final time, round the final couple of corners. Comes the number 47. There we go. Checker flag waves and Damien Barris Haggett is your winner. And it's a drag race for third at the line. Who's going to get it? It's Tomaluski from Hartley. With Adam Bukok taking uh, second position in the end of that scrap there. Well done, boys. Great racing. This We knew this was going to be very tight. The top five as Eric Tokarski finishes in fifth place. And we've got... Uh, Jacob Anslow bipping Freddie Moore for sixth position at the line. And then we're just waiting for our final two runners, Lincoln Douglas and uh, Ashton Butlin. And it looks like Lincoln Douglas has got the, uh, yes, he's got the position. Finishes in eighth uh, ahead of Ashton Butlin and Ollie Paul being the, for the only non-finisher. So with that being said, let's run through the uh, finishing order, shall we? A convincing win by Damien Barris Haggett, who uh, held on for dear life for what was a four-way scrap to win by 3.9 seconds from Adam Bukok, who usurped both Kasper uh, Tomaluski and Liam Hartley for third and fourth. Eric Tokarski makes it a Polish 2-5 this afternoon in fifth position with Jacob Ounslow, uh, Freddie Moore, Lincoln Douglas, Ashton Butlin uh, rounding out the nine finishers with Ollie Poole finishing 
on just four laps completed. So, that's the uh, Honda Cadet Intercarts uh, heat action completed.